Vivekanand was in Haridwar where those monkeys are there. So he used to wear clothes like Swamiji. And as he would walk, these monkeys will walk after him. He will keep walking and then the monkeys will come and look back and you know, the, as he walked, the monkeys would keep walking after him. And suddenly it's so, I mean, after a point those monkeys were, he had a bag in his hand, so the monkeys were going to pull something out of his bag. And he kept sort of saving himself, and, but he kept walking. But it, they didn't stop because monkeys are monkeys. <coughs> and then suddenly what he did was that he just turned around and looked them in the eye. And this is a very famous story out of Vivekananda's experience himself. He says, face the brutes. Face the brutes. Because all this fear and this and ego, figo, everything is monkeys. Monkeys are ill-behaved people. And we have to analyze, we have to think, we have pro proactive behavior that Swamiji just spoke about. It is very important to face the brutes. Because we, these brutes are within us. It's not outside of me. But if we let them monkey around, then we have a problem. Because then our behavior will always be reactive. It will always be something that we don't know what's coming. Monkey aya or humne uspe reaction kiya. Monkey aya humne reaction kiya. So agar monkey nahi chahiye, fear nahi chahiye, ego nahi chahiye, sadness nahi chahiye, kuch bhi nahi chahiye. So we got to face them ourselves first within ourselves, <coughs> then anywhere else. So that's what I'd like to end up with. Thank you. So thank you, Abaji, and thank you, Swamiji. Brilliant. Those are great insights and I learnt a lot, made a lot of notes. I hope everybody else also benefited from it. Basically the way of life, I wouldn't put it in any spiritual or corporate training uh, context because most of it is way of life. And I think the easiest way to do it is keep it simplistic and that's when people began, begin to relate with you, even in a training room, whether it is a CEO or the intern who has just joined. The learning is the same. End of the day, all are human beings, right? We put them in different statures, but if you can get that out of your head that the CEO is also a human being, it doesn't matter. And I think that's where the power of a learning professional comes from. If you don't get intimidated by stature and title, since there are a lot of people who want to be trainers in this room, right? So I would just kind of leave it with that and thank you so much. Agar आपसे जितने चश्मे वाले लोग हैं मैं आपसे पूछूं गलत नंबर का चश्मा पहन के कैसा दिखता है बहुत पर, बहुत परेशानी वी जस्ट गो टू चेंज द लेंस यू गेट द राइट नंबर यू सी द राइट थिंग एज लॉन्ग एज यू हैव द फॉग लेंस इट विल ऑल मैटर सो ऑल दीज मंकी बिजनेस इज अ फॉग लेंस वी गो टू कीप क्लियरिंग इट ऑफ वन बाय वन एंड देन द क्लैरिटी कम फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ अस यस सो लाइक इन अ सेशन लास्ट वीक Suddenly the HR person came to me and said, you know, these two guys sitting, one is the CEO and the other is the CEO. So I said, so what? She said, no, you have to treat them a little differently. I said, how does that work? <laughs> how can I treat them a little differently in a group of 25 people? Because then the learning won't really happen. I said, therein lies the problem, you know. And that's exactly the same, same culture as what we take in society. We put people on a pedestal, right? And then you either glorify them or you dethrone them and throw them off the pedestal. You can see it when every cricket match is won, suddenly the guys become gods and when the cricket matches are lost, they become idiots. I mean, keep them as human beings. No, I mean, there is no god stature for human beings. That is where people lose the plot. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> I think I'll kind of conclude with that and thank you so much, Swamiji. Thank you, Abhaji, once again.